If your EIS data has semicircles in the Nyquist plot, Zedman can do circular fitting. For example, if you open the circular fit project by double clicking and select one of the items, you'll see this has a semicircle. You can access this from the analysis menu, click circular fit. You should choose which run to analyze. Let's start with the first one. On here you then move the violet line and the olive line to form the semicircle. The software will use the blue points to do the circular fitting and it will ignore these grey points. I can drag the violet line to the left. To zoom into your data you can use this zoom in function. If you click on this one and click on your graph you'll see it zooms in. You can also select this to draw a square to zoom in to see uh, if it's still a circle. To zoom out you can choose this to show all of your data. At the moment this uh, red fitting is wrong. When you're happy with the selection you've chosen you click on the circular fit button and you'll see that the software has fit the circle to my data. If your data has multiple circles, you should move the lines again to encompass the new circle. You're now ready to do the modeling, so you click either on the one time or ten times modeling, and the software calculates these values. If the circular data has Warburg diffusion element in it, you can select it from the drop down menu. So, for example, you choose this one. You move the cursors again, and again you click either the one time or ten times fitting. I'm not going to do this for this data. You can now see the results in these tabs. This is the initial guess, the report, the data. And remember you can uh, right click here to copy the selection or copy the table. This is the Nyquist plot, the Bode plot, the residual plot, and the results. Again, you can right click and copy. You should then click OK to accept these parameters and the values are transferred to the model parameters for the modeling.